Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's great to hear. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Let's stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly your airplane to one side, fly your airplane to the other side, fly your airplane to the middle and stretch those airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Now take that circle up over your head and give a little stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side. Nice stretching, friends. One last stretch up at the top and let's bring our circle back down. Now it's time to sing together. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. So before we get started with circle time, there are three things that we need to do quickly. The first thing that we need to do is turn on our listening ears. The second thing that we need to do is put on our thinking hats. I'm going to take my hat and put it on top of my head. And today my thinking hat has buttons underneath my chin. So I'm going to button them up. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. So let's do a check. Our listening ears are on, our thinking hats are on, and our hearts are warmed up. So let's get started with the calendar and the weather chart. I have my pointing stick and I'm going to put it up to the top to where the month is. Do you know what the month is? April, that's right. And today is April 22nd. I am going to move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was April 21st. And today is April 22nd, 2021, or 2021. Today is a very special day, and we'll talk more about that later on in circle time. Will you say the date one more time with me? Today is April 22nd, 2021, or 2021. Both ways are correct when saying the year. Let's get our counting fingers ready and give them a little stretch to warm them up. Let's count the remaining th days that we have in the month of April. I'm going to have my counting finger and after today, we are going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After today, there will be eight days left in the month of April. Keep those eight fingers up, friends, and put one of those fingers away. So now you have seven fingers left. We are going to sing the Days of the Week song, and because we have seven days in our week, we hold up seven fingers like this. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to travel down to the bottom of the chart. This says that yesterday was, here's your clue, what? Wednesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. Great memories, friends. So that means that today is Thursday. And tomorrow will be, here's your clue, f Friday. Tomorrow will be Friday, the last day of the weekday. But let's go back to today and let's sing today is Thursday together. It goes like this. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday, all day long. 
Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday, all day long. When I travel back up to the top of the chart, this says the season. Do you know what the season is right now? Spring! That's right, it's springtime. And when I travel back down to the bottom, this is a picture of the weather. So that means that it's time to sing the weather song together. Will you sing with me? What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Friends, right down here, I have a picture of a cloud and the sun. When I look outside of my window, it's mostly cloudy, but the sun is trying to poke through the clouds. Maybe later on today, the clouds will go away and the sun will be left in a blue sky. But for now, it's mostly cloudy. And my temperature chart is on orange. That means that it's warm where I live. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Take a look outside of your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. And now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Do you remember what sound this letter makes? You're right. Will you make that sound with me? N, N. This is a lowercase N, and N says N, N. Okay, friends. It's time to move on to the letter box. But again, what I have today is not inside of the letter box. Instead, it's something that's on my body, specifically my face. That's your first clue. Your second clue is that it's used for my sense of smell. Do you know what it could be? My nose. My nose is on the center of my face. Can you point to your nose? And your nose is used to do what? Smell. So you have your two nostrils underneath your nose right here, and when you breathe in like this, you can smell something. This is how you write a lowercase n, n. One more time. Now, let's move on to the number of the week. This is a double digit number. Do you remember what number this is? 20. And when you write the number 20, you have to write two numbers. First, you write this number. This is the number two. And then you write this number. The number zero, two, zero, twenty. And now let's count twenty tally marks together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 goes across, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 20 tally marks. Are you ready to take a peek and see what's inside of the number box to count? Oh my goodness, I have so many pine cones. So just like last week, instead of lining the pine cones up across the top of the box, I'm just going to make a large pile on the top of the box so that they don't roll off because we have so many of them to count. Will you count with me? One, two, here's a teeny tiny one, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and one more pine cone makes 20. 20 pine cones. So friends, before we move on to the sign of the week, I just want to share something with you quickly. Pine cones have these pointy things coming off called scales. And on each scale, a pine cone usually has about two seeds. So this pine cone contains many seeds. This came from a pine tree. So the seeds that are on each scale would grow into a new pine tree. Yesterday, I showed you how to say flower in sign language. Do you remember how to do that? Will you show me? Let's do that one more time together. Watch my hand carefully. Flower. Today is a very special day. Do you know what it is? Today is Earth Day. Earth Day is when we celebrate the Earth. The planet Earth is our home, and we only have one home. So it's our job to protect it and keep it clean and a safe place to live. And remember, people are not the only ones who live on this planet. This planet was first home for the animals, the trees, fish, insects, and flowers, anything living, before the humans arrived. So what can you do protect, to protect the Earth? Can you think of anything? There are so many simple ways to help our planet, and here are a few examples that you can do every day. You can recycle and reuse, and that's something that we talked about a few weeks ago. So before you throw something in the garbage, see if it can be recycled, or even better, see if you can reuse it. This will reduce the amount of waste on the planet. And another thing that you can do is to turn off the water when you're not using it. So when you brush your teeth, keep the faucet off unless you're using it. One of my favorite things to do to help the earth is to plant a garden and grow my own food. You don't need a big outdoor space for this. You can even do this inside. I also make sure to plant flowers that attract honeybees because they are great pollinators and the honeybee population is under stress. Now that the snow melted and I can see the ground again, I've also noticed a lot of trash or litter lying on the side of the roads. Where do you think all that litter goes? Well, the wind may blow it into the water and trash definitely does not belong there. It takes years for trash to decompose or break down. So that trash will most likely just stay on the side of the road unless we do something to help. Let's go. So I just came back from a walk up and down my street and even though I'm really happy that I can see the grass again now that all the snow has melted, I was not very happy to find all of the litter that was hidden underneath the snow during the winter time. So before I went on my walk, I brought a pair of work gloves and a bucket and I collected litter that was on the side of the road that would be washed away into the creeks down my street. Let's take a look and find, take a look at what I found. So some of these things can be recycled and other things it looks like may be able to be put in the compost. This plastic lid can definitely be recycled. So I'll put all of the recyclable items in the bucket. Same with this piece of cardboard, that can be recycled. This plastic container can be recycled. I even see the little recycling symbol on the back and it looks like this once had blueberries inside. So this bucket will all be taken to the recycling bin. And this latex balloon can actually be composted, so I'll put this in our compost bin. So if you live on a street that's too busy to walk on, the next time you go to your local park or playground, or even on a hike in the woods, bring along a pair of gloves and a bucket or a trash bag and find any litter that you can pick up and take it home and put it in the trash or the recycling bin. If we all work together, we can do our part to save the planet. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. If you would like to share your contribution to Earth Day this year, 
whether it's cleaning up the litter or planting a garden, have your grown-up take a picture and post it with the hashtag UnboundLearnersEarthDay. Remember friends, today is not the only day that we can help the Earth. We can do it every day. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can I see you wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Happy Earth Day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.